let's let's play it like my friend. <laughs> so you came with your home to your home. You were just installing uh, the new game on your PC, and. Uh, uh, you might be playing the cards during the installation because you don't want to wait. Then the game is installed. Let me check it here. Of course, you have uh, everything on the balance mode because it's coming automatically from the factory. So, you want to start the game. Let's start. We have a word of conflict. Uh, conflict. You can see the first couple of seconds of the benchmark, which is immediately yeah. easy, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so... Let's move. It's not easy for me. Okay. Let's move here. I will just check the graphic settings. Because sometimes it's not putting on the same. You see, uh, because it's detected in integrated graphic cards, it's really everything is on low and the lower resolution. So we have to put it back on the same resolution as we have on another system, just to compare to Apple to Apple. So and we run the benchmark. You didn't need to apply it. Oh, I don't need it. Let me apply it again. Yeah, it's always like this. Yeah, I, you are I, right. I use this game every time I test. You playing it? So, yeah, okay. You play. I already use some. Yeah, you are right. Apply. So we have to do applies. So it's always like this. I always forget it. It's so because you have always the run benchmark in the first place, right? <laughs> so yeah. Now and let's run it here. So you will get you will get a pretty low frame rate, and you probably understand it's not the best way to experience GPU. But try to imagine you coming from the shop, you are really ex excited because you have an NVIDIA GPU inside, and simply it doesn't work. You don't know why. <laughs> so you, you will get like nine to ten frame rates. I think it's far from to be playable. Now when we get this uh, new. So we'll get like seven maybe. Yeah. So let's just jump out. I guess uh, all of you agree that this is far from to be private. So let's jump of this. You are the user, you don't know what to do. It's like, wow, my system is really slow, it should not be. So you're thinking, you call into the ASUS. And then the ASUS, say, ASUS saying, like, uh, man, you have a wrong graphic card, you have to switch for the high performance mode. <laughs> I mean, they, they know, of course, because this is their notebook. Yeah. So you go for the high performance mode, and uh, then you have to switch. Uh, and uh, you see that the system should switch back, but you will get here like something is wrong with. Uh, with our application and file it to be uh, to create the DirectX device because you had the application like uh, Solitaire open and just forget to close it there because normally it can happen to everyone. So let's close it again. We have to again switch uh, switch uh, back and uh, switch again to the high performance mode because it didn't work as it should be. So uh, you now understand that it's requiring a lot of patience from the user side. <laughs> And it's not the really best way. And I still very much doubt that uh, uh, most of users can do it. I think that this one person we did in the presentation, the presentation is probably right. So now we are finally in high performance mode. And um, yeah, yeah, just put it. That's why I'm sitting here. So uh, now we do the game demo. And suddenly it will work. Because of course you finally did what you had to do. But... Uh, I really don't think so that this is the way how the user should control the notebooks. So and believe me, sometimes it even happened to us last week that uh, for whatever reason it wasn't switched even in this side and you have to think why is that. So about this time it should be okay. So let's do the video and we run the benchmark. Oops, it's ah. ah. again. <laughs> It's always like this, yeah, I always forget it. 
so let me do it again. It's a, uh, it's very. I mean, in modern conflict, it's uh, normally some games are applying automatically, but even you will get now the higher higher frame rate that you got the before. But let me let me apply it. Yes. So medium. So now you will get a pretty higher frame rates. I mean, you can get like 30 to 40 frames per second, so it will be much, much bigger difference in compared to. Let me do it. You see, now we have a 41 frame rates in compared to 9 and before, because of course the district graphic card is working now. It's quite, of course, when you have a new it's dropping always in boarding conflict, but you know, this, uh, this test there is uh, probably the most intensive part of this benchmark. But if you compare, you will get like uh, three times higher frame rate, normally it's like around 70 frames for the player by this resolution. So I will jump out. And then, uh, let's think about another scenario. If you're not playing a game, you will get uh, in the situation that, for example, you heard and read on the internet about lots of these uh, great CUDA apps and you want to convert the video for your iPhone. So, let's come back for, uh, um, for our balance mode. 